Hello and welcome to a bonus video of Let's Play Medal of Honor Underground on the PlayStation. Um, in part 20 of this series I did the level Sidecar Shootout um, and during that video I demonstrated a very interesting glitch uh, that allowed me to walk past the third gate without using the motorbike. Um, I first discovered this glitch, uh, what was it, about 16 years ago? Um, I got this game for the first time in 2001. <clears throat> Um, and I think I discovered the glitch in 2002. So yeah, about 16 years ago I discovered that glitch. Um, and over the years, um, I have tried a few times to get past the uh, the first and second gates without the motorbike. Um, and I've been frustrated every single time because I just haven't managed to do it. Um, I think... Uh, um, I think you can get past the third gate um, because... Um, when you chuck a grenade at the motorbike, uh, the motorbike moves a bit, um, and that causes uh, uh, that causes the gate to break because I think only the motorbike can break the gate. Uh, so that's why it works. Then it doesn't work on on the first two gates because the motorbike isn't close enough, so it only works on the third one. Uh, that's what I think anyway. Uh, um, however, so. Um, over the past 16 years, I've sort of gone back to this a few times, um, kind of tried to get past uh, the other two gates uh, um, and explored the whole level uh, without the motorbike, and I've been frustrated every single time. Um, however, um, two days ago, or something like that, um, I received a comment from someone named Lord Orcmaster, so thanks very much for that, it's really appreciated. Uh, uh, yeah, his name is Lord Orcmaster. Um, and he told me that um, it is possible to get past the other two gates by jumping on the motorbike um, and then from the motorbike jumping on the wall and then getting over the gate that way. Now, I haven't managed to get it to work on the first gate, but it did work on the second gate. And because I can go back, um, I can explore the whole level now uh, um, just by um, jumping on the motorbike before the second gate. Um, and then I can go back and explore past the first gate by going back uh, um, so yeah this is really exciting um, I was really excited with this this is um, uh, this has made my week honestly this is really exciting I've been um, I've been trying to do this um, for the past 16 years on and off so this is just uh, really exciting thanks very much Lord Orc Master it's really appreciated um, the only uh, the only drawback is it is possible to get um, it is possible to get trapped. Um, I'll show you where, so you don't want to go there, otherwise there's no way back. Um, also, there's another drawback, actually. Um, it's a drawback that means I have to I have to turn a couple of the cheats on. Um, if you remember uh, Sidecar Shootout, none of the enemies um, that, you kill, uh, that you kill on the motorbike between the gates, um, none of those enemies drop any weapon or health because they don't expect you to be able to pick them up. Uh, because you're not supposed to go there um, without the motorbike. Um, so um, health and ammo is a bit scarce. And when I first did this, had a go at this, um, I sort of ran out of health um, and I ran out of ammo as well. So I'm going to have to turn on the unlimited ammo and the invulnerability. Um, it doesn't matter that I'm cheating because I'm just showing you the glitch. If you want to see the level done properly, um, it's done properly on part 20 where I do the level properly and everything. So... Um, I don't use any cheats on that. Um, so yeah, um, this is really exciting. I can now show you the whole level um, without the motorbike. Um, and uh, yeah. So once again, thanks very much, Lord Orcmaster. You have no idea how exciting this has been for me. Yeah, it's on the um, it's on the mission at Middlework um, Saboteur and Sidecar Shootout. Now this level is actually quite difficult without any cheating or, or uh, glitching because if you miss any any of the enemies while on the bike, you can't go back for them. But if you do if you do use the glitch, sometimes the enemies will respawn, so it's yeah, so it's not really worth using the glitch to go back because the enemies keep respawning in some cases, especially after the first and second gates. Not so much after the third gate. I don't think they respawn at all after the third gate, actually, although they might do, I just can't remember. But they definitely respawn after the first and second gate if you go back. So if you want to do the level properly, you just have to practice at it. Um, if you want the three stars, you just uh, you just have to practice at it um, and make sure that you know all the enemies are so you can kill at least, um, what is it? Is it 
95% of the enemies or something like that. You have to get 95% of the enemies uh, to get the second star. And if you want the third star, you have to have at least 75% health. Yeah, that's it. Something like that. The first star is, is automatic, really, because it just means you, uh, that you've done all the objectives. Uh, the second star means that you've, that you've killed 95% of the enemies. So you, you, uh, depending on the number of enemies in each level, you don't get much leeway. Anyway, enough of that. We've read that before. This is just a bonus video, but yeah, this is really exciting. Honestly, I've been uh, uh, this has been uh, um, it, uh, uh, this has been in my thoughts um, loads over the past few days. Really exciting. Anyway, so kill these enemies. It doesn't matter. Um, if you turn on um, the infinite health cheat, there won't be any health kits around. Uh, and also, I think if you turn on the infinite, uh, uh, if you turn on the unlimited ammo cheat, uh, uh, the enemies don't drop any any ammunition. You can't pick any up, uh, which kind of makes sense, really. I suppose it saves on RAM or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, this is just uh, this is just normal, really. I mean, I don't mind cheating on this because I just want to show you the glitch, really. I mean, these enemies just get in the way, especially when they respawn. It's really annoying. There's the other one. There we go. Let's just shoot these just for a laugh. Yeah, there isn't any other um, ammunition or, or health around because we have infinite of both. Okay, there's one more enemy around here. And then we can go and um, do the exciting bit. Now, I've always, 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 for 16 years, tried to get past... Uh, or, or, um, Trying to get over this mountain, I just couldn't make it. I kept trying to jump over the mountain, I just couldn't do it. Um, now, Lord Orcmaster said, I think he said uh, that he managed to jump over. Um, he managed to jump over this gate. I can't. I, I can't seem to get this one to work uh, because when you get close to it, you're not allowed to jump very high. And he he did suggest um, jumping on it like this. You know when. Uh, uh, for, from a distance where you are allowed to jump high and then jumping on it like that but when I jump on it I carry on jumping like that so I can't make it on that wall there so I can't seem to get on the wall uh, but that doesn't matter because there's a way back so I can't seem to get past this gate so I'll have to do this normally so we'll come back here don't worry so I can't seem to jump over this gate that doesn't matter because we can uh, we can go back and, and then explore this area um, after we um, do the second gate business. So this is the only way I, c I could get this to work. Um, if there is a way over the first gate um, that, uh, that I'm missing, please let me know because I can't get past the first gate uh, normally. Well, not normally, but like that from the start. Um, it doesn't matter that we're missing enemies here because we're going to come back and also the enemies here respawn once you go through so it doesn't matter uh, and plus we have infinite ammo and infinite health and everything um, I have to have uh, the invulnerability on because if I come back through here the enemies keep respawning um, and eventually they will whittle my health down and the amount of health here is limited and that goes for the ammo as well I, um, when I first did this I didn't bother turning the cheats on I kept coming back um, and I kept running out of health and ammo because I kept running out, and then I, and then I got killed because you know, because I had no health and ammo really. So yeah, we're going to explore all this without the annoying motorbike. Okay, just to tease you, um, I'm going to do this business first. We don't need you, Mr. Motorbike Man, because um, we've found the glitch. Let's deal with this business quickly, destroy everything. Let's deal with this one, and then we can go and do the glitch. Really exciting, even though I've done it before now, but um, it's still really exciting. Okay, let's go and do this glitch, let's go. Now, on this one, near this motorbike, as you can see, uh, the motorbike isn't close enough to do the grenade trick because, you know, because that's why I think uh, the, the barrier explodes on the third gate. 
uh, because the motorbike is close enough. But on this one, on the first and third gates, if you get close to the motorbike, you can't jump as high. But on this one, you can. So I don't know why they, I don't know why they allowed that. Maybe they did it on purpose just to explore the level themselves, a bit of um, a bit of testing or something, so they could test it out. I don't know, but you can definitely jump on this one and then jump on here. And bingo, this has evaded me for 16 years, and now you can go over the gate. And also because you can. Um, uh, because this is a good vantage point, you, you can now go all the, all the way all the way back here and pass this annoying barrier. Now, if you try to get past it there, it doesn't work. So I kept thinking, I want to get past, I want to get past. Uh, however, if you go through the bush, uh, um, then you can get past. Yeah, here we go. Now we can get past. And we're there, here we are. And now we're in, inside the pit thing. If you want to get out of the pit, just climb out like this. If you just keep jumping, there we go. And now we're over the uh, we're over the barrier. This is it. This is the exciting thing. Um, now you can't jump over that. I think. Uh, oh, oh, uh, oh no, actually, I think you can jump over. Yeah, it's the third one that's the difficult one. Yeah, uh, you can jump over this if you just sort of like that. Uh, no, wait a minute. I think you can jump over this one. Or maybe, maybe not. I can't remember. But that doesn't matter. We'll deal with that later. Anyway, now we're behind the barrier. And this is it. Yes, that's what's behind these, uh, this wire fence thing. It's, it's oblivion. Amazing. Yes, this is. Uh, you don't know how long I have waited to see this. Anyway, I'm sort of glitched out a bit. So if you just sort of jump a bit and wait for it to come back, there we go. Um, if you go too far forward in the level and keep going back, eventually uh, you will reach a point that never returns. I think I can show you that, because I think it happens at the start of something. The enemies will respawn, um, the ones I didn't kill, uh, they will respawn once you go past where they are, because they're not supposed to spawn when you go this way, because the game designers never intended that. Anyway, that's what's behind that house. There it is. It's just oblivion. We're behind the house now. Isn't this amazing? And we're on the, the side now, here it is. Yes, go away, you annoyance. Go away. We have infinite ammo, so screw you. Right, go away, you annoyance. Have some machine gun. No, I wanted some machine gun. Give me that machine gun. Give me that shooter. Right, anyway, so, uh, so now we're behind the house. Uh, now let's carry on. Now you may wonder what these weird wire things are. They're actually the telegraph poles, but... Uh, 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 but backwards, so you can only see uh, parts of them that they intended, you know, that uh, that were, uh, that are part that are meant to be seen. You know, they're, they're not meant to be seen from that way around, so they're only meant to be seen from this way around. And just ignore the enemies, they can't hurt us, they respawn anyway. Okay, that's what's beyond here, and here we are, this is it, this is where the gate was, this is so exciting. This is what was beyond that annoying mountain thing that I couldn't get past before, it's just nothing. So there we are. Now, interestingly, this is the bit that always glitches up, I can never, I can never make the level reappear, it's always messed up here, always, always, always. I can never make this bit of the level reappear, so there's no point even trying. I think if you go too far forward, it doesn't, you know, um, it um, it deletes this part of the level from the RAM or something because it assumes it's not needed anymore, or something like that. Um, or maybe the level is really big and it just deletes it anyway. So here we are. This is it. Yeah, and if you notice, these have returned as well. These returned. The I did destroy them. I think M maybe I can't remember. Yeah. So much. Um, so no matter what you do, this bit will always be messed up. There's nothing you can do to bring that back. Well, in my opinion, anyway, I've never. Um, I tried for ten minutes to try and get it back. Anyway, now we know what's past that annoying gate. Yes, here it is. Ha ha ha. No, um, no, I won't halt. I have found a way past. You get. Anyway, yeah. So. Yeah, so now, now we can get past this gate. And if you press action to get on the motorcycle, it didn't get rid of that because it doesn't assume you'll come here again. Um, yeah, so nothing happens. Now, uh, what happens uh, if you go on this wall here? This wall is slightly awkward and slightly glitched. Yeah, I've managed to get on it. There we go. So you can get past there. And if you... F yeah, so you can't jump while on this wall because it's in the no jump zone. Cause it doesn't want you doing this. 
because it knows that if you were uh, the game designers knew if you could jump high near the motorbike there then you could get on uh, then you could get on the motorbike and then jump on the wall and pass the gate which is why i think it's pretty odd that they didn't have it for the second gate which which makes me kind of believe that they did it on purpose uh, because you know just for testing or something so they could have a look around the level and see if, if it looks all right without having to go on the motorbike maybe i i don't know but uh, it's interesting nonetheless Anyway, yeah, so that's what's passed here. This is uh, amazing for me. Anyway, so now let's go all the way back and go past the second gate. See the enemies respawn. Yes, go away. Yeah, notice how that one just came out of nowhere. There's another instance of that later on. There's an officer. can't hurt me, I'm invincible. Right. Yeah, we should be able to climb up this as well, maybe. Yeah, we can go all the way to the top. Here we are. What's over the mountain? Nothing. Oblivion. I was thinking about this yesterday, actually, as I was doing this yesterday, that imagine if, if you were trapped in this sort of world forever. It'd be like a hell, you know, just sort of anything that exists is this road to nowhere. But, uh... It's just the sort of crap I think about these days. We don't need the motorbike to do this nonsense. Yeah, so we have access to the whole place now. Okay, can we climb up this? Yeah, we can have a look up here. Just oblivion, of course. Try and get the heads. There we go. Now we know what's past the, past the fence. Actually, you can sort of see what's past the fence anyway, because you can see what's behind there a bit. There's just black. You can see where the graphics sort of... You can see where they begin there, there that line. Now, if I chuck a grenade down here, will it sort of... Whoops, wrong button. Oh, that's the right button. Um... Yeah, there it is. So it uh, carries on, on forever. It never stops falling, and so it, it explodes because it's timed. It's a good job you can't go down there, otherwise you'd, uh, you'd end up falling for eternity into oblivion and never returning. Anyway, I want to see if I can jump. I'm sure I could jump over this, because I did try something like this yesterday. Yeah, so if you want to make it past that bush... Like there, you think you can't make it past it's blocked off. I thought yesterday when I did this or whatever, I, I thought, oh no, I can't make it past it. But then I sort of moved to the right a bit, went inside this bush, and then that allows me past there. So, ha ha ha. Right, anyway, yeah, I'm sure I could jump past this, or maybe it was the next one. No, it must be the next one, because I can't seem to make that. Anyway, so now, we don't need you anymore, annoying German traitor man. You can die, because we're going past the gate this way. Yes, here we are. Yeah, so, so the gate is still blocked off. Now, if you go away and come back, the gate does disappear. Notice how we just disappeared. That happens sometimes. It's really glitched. We don't need the, uh, the annoying motorbike bit. You're going to die normally. Let me uh, jump over this. Oh look, there are the trees. There they are. And we can't go. Uh, we can't go any further than that. There they are. They're completely glitched. Of course, there's nothing there. Bit of roadworks. What roadworks are they doing? The roadworks they're doing is building into oblivion. That's what they're doing. And like before, you can go into the hedge. Nothing in the hedge, of course. Now that annoying bloody lorry thing that we always went past and could never see. We're about to see it. Yeah, for some reason, the uh, you sort of start walking on air here. I, d I don't know why. So if you notice, I'm just walking over there. I don't have to jump. I'm, I'm sort of floating in mid-air. I don't know why that always happens here. Yes, go away. 
okay what's behind the truck well let's have a look at the truck well it's missing some wheels it's it doesn't exist from this side it only exists from this side so yeah so they really economized on the graphics here yeah, there's nothing there so and now we're inside the lorry so that's what the lorry was I mean that's what everything is really everything is just nothing if, if you if you're not supposed to see it then it doesn't exist that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a general rule of thumb here I don't shoot the barrels, that's my job. Now, there's another house here. Who, who lives at the house? No one, because there's nothing in it. You know, that's what's inside the house. Nothing. Die. What's inside this house? Again, oblivion. Let's chuck a grenade in the house. There it is. Standing on hell, leading down to hell. Nothing you can do about it. Went over you. Go away, Mr. Officer. Okay, now interestingly, that part of the graphic is actually there, even though it's a bit down. That's because when you, even though it's a bit lower rather, that's because when you go past, you can actually see a bit of it. So it's needed, otherwise you just look at blackness. That's why they've added the graphics in for that bit down there, where I'm pointing at now. Because when you go past, there isn't a bush in the way of it. Um, uh, so when you go past, it is possible to see what's there. So they had to fill it up a bit with some graphics. Okay, here's the tunnel that we always used to see, or rather I always used to see when going past. And another, uh, another, oh, oh it's a tank, always thought it was another lorry. Interestingly, uh, when I did this yesterday, these men weren't here. It was just, you know, I didn't have to kill these men. Anyway, let's have a look at the tank. Now, uh, uh, now these numbers we're never supposed to see, it says 808, we're never supposed to see that. Even though it says 808 there, but we're never supposed to see that because we're never supposed to, uh, we're never supposed to, we're never supposed to go beyond that point. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, here, yes, there's some trees leading down to oblivion. Here's a booth. We're never supposed to go in this booth. There it is. Yep, let me out of the booth. Thank you. Nothing there. Here's that annoying tunnel we always used to go in. Now we get to see what's in here. It's nothing. I'm sure it just exploded. Um, it just reappeared. Nope. Didn't reappear then. Yeah, these ones are really sh uh, really powerful. They need two hits of the shotgun to explode uh, explode those barrels. Uh, 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 they're really strong. You know, what's behind this tunnel? Nothing. Nothing inside that door. Let's, uh, let's chuck a grenade down. Chuck a grenade down into oblivion. There we go. There it goes. And you can die. Oh. Now this is interesting. This is the this is the bit where you can get trapped. So be careful. Um. Right. It's so over here. Oh, look, there's nothing. There's a surprise. That's what's there. Nothing. Now, notice how the motorbike man isn't there yet. Now, I'm going to make a save state because once I go past this point, there's no way back. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, that's done. Okay, uh, now it is possible definitely to jump over this one. So, big jump. No, I just missed that one. Let's try that again. Okay, big jump. Uh, try to go over this bit. That's it. There we go. You see, now there's no way back. Try as you might, you will not find a way back, and you are trapped here. There's no way back. And notice how in this point uh, that we can't jump high. 
which means I can't really jump on the wall here. And also, because the motorbike man isn't here, that means I can't get rid of the barrier um, and complete the level. Because uh, uh, the motorbike is needed to destroy the barrier. So you can actually go and do this now if you want. But um, yeah, you're completely trapped here. There's no way out. There's no way back and no way forward. Even if you do the, the, the rocket thing, I'll just I'll demonstrate that. Even if you do the rocket thing, the motorbike doesn't just appear there. You have to ride the motorbike if you want the... Uh, if you want the, uh, the motorbike to be here. You see, now we're trapped. It doesn't expect you to do it. So now, now we're completely trapped. You need the motorbike to get out of there. And you can't jump on there or anything, so... No way out. No way back. Okay, so I'll just come back and... Or rather, I'll just load my save state. Back in a sec. Okay, and here we are. Yeah, so if you if, if you jump over that bit and the motorbike isn't there, uh, you are completely trapped. Um, and also, if you ride the motorbike over there, there's also no way back. So once you go past there, um, however you get past there, there's no way back. So, um... Make sure you explore this area um, completely before you go past that place. Yeah, so this is really exciting for me. Oh, the graphics are mucked up there. Come back, graphics. I can't do anything without you. There they go. There we go. They're back. Okay. And there's the tank thing. Nothing there. Oh, can we see that from that side? No, we can't. Yeah, so they really try to economise on memory, you know, by, uh, you know, they only include the graphics that you definitely see. If, if you know, if there's something that you're not supposed to see, then they wouldn't include the graphics, you know. Lazy programmers, or maybe they're just trying to save on memory, I don't know. Another bit here, oh, it's taken out a chunk of the old house there. There we go, it's back. All the enemies have respawned. Uh, if you remember, I did kill all the enemies, didn't I? Yet yeah, this one's respawned. Go on then, explode me. No, I'm invincible. Oh, another bit that's gone. Oh, I can't be really bothered with that enemy. Uh, Alright then. Oh good, yeah, and made the graphics come back. There's the, the lorry, half of it, half of which is missing. How is it even standing up? It's missing several wheels, it should be tipped over. But that's the the paradox of the of this weird world we occupy here. Right. Come back graphics. I think it just has to load really. It doesn't expect it doesn't expect you to need to load the the graphics on this way around. Yeah, see those enemies have respawned. Another one? Oh, that's where the motorbike is. Okay, so yeah, the the barrier should be disappeared. Yeah, so that's, so it's gone. So, but if it isn't gone for whatever reason, I don't know what makes it disappear. Uh, I didn't make it disappear. Just sort of, you know, because I didn't explode it or anything. Yeah, so now we're back on here. Excellent. So that's that. It's really exciting. So you, you can go to all areas in this game now without the motorbike. Remember, if you want to get back, just go through the bush. Uh, now, if you go to the end, or, or rather, if you get to near the third gate, then this one won't re um, it won't reappear. I can't make this the, these graphics reappear. So, make sure you explore this uh, this area fully before you go on. Otherwise, you won't be able to come back and explore it. This one will not reappear. Whatever you do, it's like the bit at the at the beginning. Yeah, so I don't know why they made it uh, so that 
you couldn't jump near the first and third gates, but you can jump here. They must have done it on purpose because, you know, just to sort of test out the level or something. They must have done. Because there's no reason why they wouldn't put that sort of that limitation here as well. Because if I weren't allowed to jump high here, there's no way I could explore the rest of the uh, rest of the area. Or maybe it's just, uh, you know, maybe the, uh, maybe they just forgot about it. I don't know. There's also an area on level... I looked up a video. Um, also, thank you, Lord Orcmaster, for recommending um, level 5-1 on Medal of Honor Underground. There's another bit in that where you can jump over a gate as well. I, um, I did watch a video about that. So it was quite interesting. And you could see the, the graphics uh, um, from behind it and oblivion and things. So Anyway, yes, that's that. Uh, let's go to the next area now. might show that area in this video quickly. Um, level 5-1. That's another one that definitely exists where you can go, where, where you can jump over a gate. Um, I don't know if there, if there are others. Uh, there probably are, but I don't know of them. This is the only one I ever found. Well, only, only the, the third one. See, those things have returned. Um, all the enemies have returned and things. We know what's behind that truck now. Anyway, yeah, so the only one I, um, I found on my own was the third gate of this level. Uh, uh, just by chucking a grenade at the motorbike. Not all the enemies will respawn, but um, a fair few of them will. Uh, I missed them. So, yeah, you really have to practice at this level, like I did for the um, for part 20. If you, if you want to get all the enemies, or at least 95% of them, to guarantee yourself the second gold star, third gold star is for ending it with 75% uh, health or more. First gold star is if you do all the objectives, so you always get that unless you're really unless you've screwed up a lot by not doing all the objectives. In which case, it'll warn you at the end of the level. It'll say, warning, not all objectives met. So, you know, so you have to be pretty bad not to do all the objectives. Anyway, yeah, so once you go past this, um, either on the motorbike or not, there's no way back. Anyway, uh, we've already done this nonsense. I think, anyway. Nope, uh, we have to do it again. <laughs> so, um, even though in, in part 20 I actually exited the level on the motorbike because I wanted to do it properly, even though I did show the glitch, in this one I am going to. Do we pass that? Uh, any pass that? Anyway, past that gate. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, in this one, I'm actually going to end the level um, not on the motorbike. Yeah. So as I demonstrated before, there's there's no way back now, and I don't know how uh, Lord Orcmaster um, how you jumped over this one because uh, even though I can jump on the motorbike, I think. No, I can't even jump on the motorbike in this one. Get in quickly. His voice sort of changes pitch. Oh, I just can't seem to I can't seem to do it. Yes, yeah, so this is the way I always do this. I mean, I, in my opinion, I think it's the only way. Uh, the only way, uh, because this one's sort of close to the, this one's close to the motorbike. So, when you explode the motorbike with the with the gate, it sort of the explosion carries onto the the gate. I think, because only the bike can uh, destroy the gate. Anyway, now we're here. Now we can go on here. And we can't jump again. Oh dear, I think I'm trapped. I think I'm trapped.
Yeah, I think I'm stuck. Oh, that's annoying. Can't seem to go back. There must be a way over here. No, I'm completely stuck. Anyway, um, I showed you this glitch in the uh, in part 20 anyway, so... No, I've managed to get myself trapped. Um, okay, hold on, I'll be right back. And here we are again. Um, I just loaded from my save state from earlier. Okay, so I'm going to complete this. Um, yes, that's another place you can actually get uh, um, trapped in this level. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's the first time that's ever happened. Right, um, even though I've been doing that glitch for 16 years. Yeah, so I showed you most of this in, um, in the... Um, when I did the level normally. See there's behind the house and everything. Yeah, there's an enemy down here who keeps sort of respawning. See, that one just spawned out of nowhere. And he's disappeared. That's it. Yeah, um, now I didn't show you this one, I think, um, uh, when I did the level. There's an enemy here who keeps respawning. Yes, yeah, so if you go here, you should respawn. Yeah, there he is, yeah. And, sort of, uh, and the gun disappears, it's slightly glitched as well. If you keep going over here, then coming back, he keeps respawning. Yeah, there he is again. He keeps sort of going in and out of existence. See, there he is. Back. He's gone. Excuse me one moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, so he keeps sort of going in and out of existence. You can, you can keep killing him. And he's back. You know, it's just like a never-ending hell for him. Just sort of dying and coming back. I need to die again. I mean, I can't imagine anything worse. But, that, uh, but that's his... That's his life. That's his whole life. Here's what I didn't show you in uh, the previous part. I think this one can come back as well or something. Maybe. No, that one's not coming back. If you've ever seen the film The Thirteenth Floor, where yeah, he sort of finds uh, 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 at the edge of simulated reality. This is like this is like that a bit, except it's not all green. It's like simulated reality, and this is the edge. But you're not supposed to know about it. There it is. I don't know why they put that bit in there. Um, probably for the enemies to hide in. There's that. All these houses and everything. They don't exist. And here's the end. The house is on nothing. Yes. There we go. 
Yes, yeah, so this is level 5-3, so the other glitch I want to show you is on level 5-1. Interesting how they're in the same mission, but anyway, that's that. Yes, uh, so we've ended the level without doing the... Uh, Uh, without uh, without the without using the uh, the motorbike, and we've got th three stars. Excellent, the aristocrat. Okay, let's return to the main menu without saving. Now let's do uh, five one and show you the uh, jumping over the bridge on that one. Um, plans for this. Uh, for destruction. One, two, three. Oh, oh no, it was five one, I think. Yeah, it was five one. That's no, that's not in the same mission. Sorry, this is six. Uh, side guy shootout is six three. So uh, uh, that would be six one. Yeah, they're not, they're not in the same mission. Sorry. Uh, this is five one roundabout. Yeah, this is the one with the. Uh, There's a new mission. Must... Yeah, this is the one with the other glitching. So I think you can jump over a gate in this one. Exciting times, jumping over gates. Yeah, so thanks to that Lord Orcmaster, you really made my day uh, with that with that comment. Thank you. Yeah, here it is. This is where you can jump over the gates, right here. Well, I haven't actually done this before. Uh, this is only what's in in the video that I saw, so I haven't tested this out yet. This is this is virgin territory for me. Yes, yeah, go away. Okay, Mister. Uh, Mr. Gunman, we're about to see what's really inside your building. Yes, yeah, so I can't believe I never thought of this before. You can actually jump um You can actually jump on top of this dragon's tooth thing, apparently. And then jump over the gate. That's what was happened in the video. Now obviously it's slightly awkward to do because it's not meant to do it. Ah, oh, I nearly made that. Get on that dragon's tooth. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. I've never done this before. Yeah. Yeah, so you can make it over that gate as well. And you can go through it, but not from that way around. So I'll just do it again. Now, can you do it from this way around? You should be able to. Might be a bit easier. Yeah, it's easier from that one. But, uh, when I saw the video, they actually did it from that one. Yeah, so now we can go all behind here. Well, we can't go through there because there's a bit of oblivion blocking it off. Yeah. We can't get past that bit. Yeah. Yeah. So what was inside your little house, Mr. Gunman? It was absolutely nothing. You, uh, you were standing on nothing. How dare you? Yeah, so you can make it past that gate. That's what's beyond that bit. It looks like it's going off into the distance. We can now see. Can't go beyond that. Yes, yeah, so all the all the trees are sort of invisible from this way around. Yeah, there they are. We're inside the gates. No, we're out again. Oh no, enemies have come. And that's that. So yes, thanks for watching. Really interesting. Um, I have one more video to do of Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. One more of that one, and then I can start doing Vault of the Vampire, uh, Fighting Fantasy book. Be looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, thanks one last... I know I can't stop thanking you, but thanks again, Lord Orcmaster. Really good. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Next video will be the last part of Spyro 2, and then I think the last part anyway. And then after that, I'll do um, Vault of the Vampire. Uh, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.